Terra Troopers! It's me, Terra. We're going to watch Love Island Season 6, Episode 14, baby. Let's go. Please make sure that you leave a like, leave a comment, obviously subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know me. I'm normally over at The Real Rejects a lot. I watch TV and movies over there, but with you, my Terra Troopers, we are here. We're watching reality. Don't forget to go to rejectnationshop.com. Get your Rejects gear. We got to support the real rejects too. Obviously, if you guys want to find me on Patreon to support, just buy me coffee so I can edit. I would love that. It's just Patreon. Search me, Tara Erickson. You know the juice. And thanks to Prepper for helping edit down these videos. I super appreciate them. I wouldn't be here without their help. So send them love too. Let's just get into it, shall we? I think that's all I got to say. What else should I say? Oh yeah, and don't forget, you guys know how we roll over here, Terror Troopers, to spread hugs, love, and laughter. Let's get into it, shall we? A dance challenge reveals truths. If you're happy in your current relationship, you must keep dancing. I have three new bombshells. This is gonna be one of the best episodes. I can't wait. I just don't want you to think like I was like trying to sway any decision. I, I was literally just like, like I tried to be very like backsy on everything. She means unbiased. Never said anything bad about you once to Andrea. I still like him. We all know it, honey. It's written all over your face. We don't know where they come from. We don't know really how it works, how they reproduct. Reproduct, reproduce. Exactly. While we're talking, you're thinking about eels having sex. Popped in my mind. They come from Ursula. Everyone knows that. Honestly, in this current moment, thinking, what the f am I going to say to Connor about this conversation when he asked me in like 20 minutes? Oh my goodness. Why the f are you thinking about Connor right now and lizards and like. Because he's a kind human, he cares about their feelings. I still care about her, and I still think that she's great. I think that I need to proceed with caution around her. Yes, I do, for me and for Connor. It's a sticky situation. It is a sticky situation. You're going to need to use your snake wrangling skills for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Leah has a maniacal laugh sometimes. I have to go home and straight to therapy. Yeah, you really do. I'm glad you're saying that, Leah. Leah clearly still has feelings for Rob. That's beyond me. And everything she does, I support women's rights and wrongs. <laughs> I love that, Serena. Good on you, girl. I'm trying. You know, you're my bitch. I'm going to support whatever know, you do. Just make sure you, you move it right. Exactly. I just want you to know that I don't hate you. I just want you to know that I care about you and I never stop caring about you. And that... <laughs> Aaron. I think she's leaning towards you way more than she's leaning towards Connor. Whether she said it or not, I think the reason why she got Andrea out was because, of, because she wants to get involved with you. I feel like I'm just constantly getting stuck in messy situations, and I'm just tired of it. Yeah, where you always get these fucking situations. Yeah, hey, uh, you've been in a, in a complete snake wrangling mess. What do you think about the situation with Nicole now? She said, I'm still getting to know both of you guys. It was more like what he has with her has been good quicker. It's 50-50 is a complete fucking lie. Wow. Olivia is lying it out there. I hate the word 50-50. Flashbacks. Poor Kenny. He's always in a 50-50 thing. I need to relay that information to her so she knows that it's not just, yeah, this is my decision. No, it's my decision too. Yeah. By taking that step back, we'll see if she's got to be like, oh, I really miss Kendall. I want to, like, I need that connection. Or if she's like, oh, well, Kendall's just pulling out. I'm just going to go with Miguel. This is okay. good for you, Kenny. I would pull out too. I'd be like, yo, girl, you're obviously with Miguel. I'm out. You had a long conversation with Rob. Just curious. Like Look at Leah's face. She's like, I care about him a lot. I can't sit here and say, like, I feel nothing towards him, but that also doesn't take away from the fact that I do feel something for you as well. No, you don't, Leah. You don't like Connor. I really enjoy spending time with you, and, like, I think you're f***ing awesome, and, like, I think you're funny and smart. And... Wow, Connor. Connor, you should trust your instincts there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wanted, I think he wants a kiss and she's Stop. just she's not going to give it to him. She would kiss Rob in that moment. She won't kiss Connor. What the f 
was that what ending was that? to that? Did you just touch his nose with your finger? He just tried to give you a kiss. You just, you just, like, you just you gave him a boop. <laughs> I'm glad they're giving Leah some shit right now. There's feelings there. It's not like you know what I mean. Yeah, damn. What, Kendall? What I just said, damn. Like, like, like this is crazy. Is it crazy? No, yeah, it's it's just wild. Nicole is, has to be thinking you kicked Andre out because you wanted him. It just like, feels come on, buddy. to me, having such a great chat with her, like we're touching each other, all these things, and literally right after, she just walks right over to Miguel and does the same thing. That's how it goes on Love Island, buddy. Kenny, you gotta wake up. You gotta leave Nicole in the past. Let her go be with Miguel. Oh, are they juicing? Oh my God, they juice in there. I didn't know that. They're juicing in there. It says a lot that Rob is back in the bedroom and not in soul ties. Is that for us? No. What, is, what that? is that? Orange juice. That is so kind what of you. you Bless your soul. Olivia? Oh, I love one. Thanks. Wow. Aaron is such a sweet little dude. Go and see if you can steal two of them cups, but don't let the girls know that you're doing it. You think I'm just going <laughs> to put OJ thief <laughs> on my resume? It's just not about it, guys. Mission, go get the OJ before it gets hot. In theory, he's hot, but then, like, when you're a he's actually in play. front of you, like, he's, it's just, like, not doing it I for agree. me. You need to tell Connor that, Leah. Is that actual? Is Connor doing you guys? Uh, he's, like, hiding under the table. Oh, my God. Ew. Can you get away? What the fuck? Oh, this is so awkward. What? <laughs> <laughs> It just looks like he's fine on You need to tell him that you had a goal to steal the orange juice, not to overhear. I failed. And failed. You failed. Yeah, and I you blew it. <laughs> Why would y'all send the biggest dude? <laughs> it made sense at the time. No. We saw the whole thing <laughs> happening. <laughs> Janae, don't be funny. It's not the time. It's not. it's not the time. It's literally not the time. Oh, God, Leah is so over Connor, it's not even funny. I just don't know about her credibility at this point. I do think that, like, what she tells me versus what she is saying elsewhere are two different things. They're very different. They are. Yeah. She made it seem like she didn't have feelings. And yeah. I was like, does Connor know that you think that? And she was like, yeah, I've told him. She did not tell me that. Can someone just f***ing be straight with me here? Yeah, she's been lying. I'm not mad at her that she still has feelings for you. I told her, I just want to know how you feel about me. But I think I need to, like, probably switch up. Yes. That she had an agenda when they got the chance to vote someone out of here. She's really benefiting from it at this point. No, I agree. I'm not going to, like, end things with her. But my my trust in, in her and her word. You're not going to end things with her? Why not? Is definitely in question right now. Her word is absolutely in question. She's been lying to you. How'd you sleep? Wake up feeling better this morning? I felt a lot better. It hurts to see you guys talk. You're taking a little step back. It's just natural for me because I like feelings are growing more and more and more and more and more. I'm confused because I thought Kenny was going to take a step back. Kind of in the dark on how you really feel about him compared to me. Because I don't know if you're leaning towards one way or the other. If, are you still, are you exactly 50-50? No. Tell the truth, Nicole. I don't, I don't really like the term 50-50. Like, our connection is still stronger in my eyes. Okay, you think so? No, you don't think that. Like, make me feel really comfortable, which doesn't happen a lot. But romance-wise, you're more attracted to Miguel. We're kind of communicating and on the same page about things, and it feels good that I can talk to him about it. It allows me to keep my feelings for him where they are and to help them grow. Okay. What? Sorry, I'm like, you looking so f Right oh, now. Kenny can't resist her. It's so hard. The decision was being made of like Andre being voted out. She told me she took a back seat. She wanted nothing to do with it. And then she said nothing. You're joking. She told me that. First of all, she said that she never spoke bad on you or Andrea. Yeah, that. which I know is a lie, which is what and is true. And then she said she took a back seat with the decision. Yeah, and then she not didn't. True. She was rooting for Andrea. I think she was very heavily pushing towards Andrea. And I know I'm not the only person who thinks it. She was saying that Andrea should go home. That's so disappointing to hear. Oh my God. What happened? Let's come up. Andrea's gone and gone boom. Oh, and now I've got the ick, I've got the ick. You didn't have the ick when it was time to recouple, did you? Right. That's someone who's playing the game to me, personally. But. Wow. Liv is laying it out. 
see things one way when they're really another. I think Leah just doesn't do good when she doesn't get what she wants. And right now it seems like she wants me again. Wow, they are all gonna figure out that Leah has been lying. This is not good for Leah. Connor's a really, really good guy and I really like him. I feel like I'm gonna have to tell him about this. If she played me, she'll play him. Exactly. Go and tell him, Rob. Please have a conversation with Connor. I like Olivia right now. She is like a fortress that you can trust. All you need to give her is like 100% true honesty and she's like cool with you. Before I was like, I wasn't sure about her, but now I am. Where we are, I feel like finding somebody who understands like my pace and like respects it, understanding it and okay, moving at the same or like. Yeah, but it too, it's real cool. Man, stop fucking with my We're trying to be serious. Well, you don't be serious. Not with it. Is this their first fight? All right. Olivia is literally always sucking on her straw. Always. Somebody should do a compilation of Olivia just chewing on her straw. I definitely feel like the conversation with Miguel, and we laugh a lot. And he's like the strongest connection I feel like I've had since being in the villa. So when I feel calm, it's kind of like, oh, this is nice. Okay, so Miguel's like kind of a vacation for her in a way. I say lives a vibe, but my soul is telling me that there's potentially more. I'm a big dreamer. And I, sometimes that can get the best of me. Sometimes. I wasn't I wasn't expecting Miguel to say that I'm seeing I might see something more with Olivia. I thought he was gonna say, yeah, but to tell you the truth, I'm feeling Nicole more. Guys, it's still like so early for all of us. We got a text! Time to get glam as tonight the villa becomes your very own nightclub. Let's go. Let's go. Let go. Lego. Tell us your craziest club story. Go. But I like threw up in my hands as I was running like to the bathroom and I had to wait with, with a vomit in my hands like this. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. I've never thrown up into my hands. So I feel like I'm winning. Woo! Party. My God. When is Rob going to tell Connor? This is the this is the moment I'm waiting for. Okay, what's your guys' go-to drink at the club? I'm a Vegas girl, so I have to say like champagne and tequila. Yeah. Champagne and tequila? I've never had that. It's a game called Stick or Twist. The couples will decide if they want to stick and stay in their current couples or twist. Oh my God. If they twist, they'll be able to explore new connections. It's their chance to let their partner know if they want to be with them or not. Leah's gonna twist. Nicole's gonna twist. As Janae and Rob are single, they won't be dancing and move immediately to the twist bench. And Olivia might twist. When the lights turn yellow, it's decision time. They can leave the dance floor and stand behind the red podium. When the red stoplight turns on, the connecting wall slides back and they'll find out who's decided to stick and who wants to twist. <laughs> Duh, of course they would stick. They're going to get married. I can't imagine myself being with anyone else in here. It's weird that she said in here. I thought she was just going to say, can't imagine myself being with anyone else. Uh, I think Kenny might. Well, no, he really likes Nicole. But I feel like Nicole is going to stop dancing. She wants Miguel, right? She's still dancing? Oh my God, and he's still dancing? I did not expect this. I did not expect this. I Wait, did Kenny just stop? Did Kenny? Oh! Leave the past in the Kenny is gonna feel so bad because he likes her so much. And now I wonder if Miguel's going to want to still talk to her because she stayed dancing for Kenny. This is messy. Oh, my God. I was just shocked. I know Kendall has been maybe, like, upset for me getting to know Miguel, but he's made it clear that he doesn't want things to change. Wow. Kendall, what the f***? She said she wants to explore. She said, so yeah, so why can I? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Wow, okay. Obviously, okay. Nicole is looking to get to know other people because she's doing it right in front of my face. And for me, same thing. I mean, I'm not chatting with other girls currently, but I am still open to it. Okay, Kenny. Wow, Kenny woke up to Nicole's connection with Miguel, and then Nicole kind of came around more to Kenny in, like, the last minute. Like, wow! 
Then Mercy. Shake what mama gave you, baby mama girl. Mama gave me not a lot. Ah, uh, Olivia. Come on, get a girl. You know what? I feel like that they're both going to stay dancing. I feel like Miguel has gotten closer to Olivia as time has gone by. I'd be really surprised if he stopped. But if he stops, it's going to be for Nicole. Oh, my God. 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 Poor Olivia. Oh, my God. I bet you Nicole is so happy that Miguel stopped because... That was for Nicole. Messy is right. This is wild. How is she going to react? Team boys will be boys. Wow. Thought we were happy. Did I say it was locked in and we weren't going to get to know anyone else? Absolutely not. But I'm not not happy with him, but clearly he is not happy with me. I completely understand. Yeah. This is right. I'll play a simplified state. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my God, this is like the red wedding, but it's the red island now. Oh my God, Connor is not going to stay there and neither is Leah. If Leah stays dancing, she is the biggest liar in all of the land. Yeah, obviously. We all saw that coming, Leah. Come on, Connor. He's staying? Connor! Connor, no! Come on. Connor, go to the box. Go to the box. <gasps> Connor! I can't believe he stayed. Poor Connor. Oh my God. Rob knows. Yeah, he's wiping his brow because he goes, she stopped for me. He knows it 110%. You're good. I know. It's all good. Connor's reaction makes me feel like shit. He it should. He, he knew. You lied to him. Decided to go with my gut. It just sucks. It sucks a lot. It sucks because you've been lying, honey. I knew that I was going to stay. And I figured there was about a 90% chance that Leah was going to twist. It was a chance for, like, some much-needed clarity. Yeah, good. Okay, Connor. Hey, yeah. I also just don't know about Serena sometimes. Like, she's like, sh is she not dancing at all? Oh, okay, she is. Oh, I love this song. No, DJ. I know, I know, I know. I know. When she's like, don't kiss me on the neck, my mom's watching. I'm like, honey, the dance you're doing is way more sexual than any of the kisses you and Cordell have shared. DJ, this is an actual murder on the dance floor. He is going to, to be shook. He's going to be shook. Oh my God. It is literally the Red Island tonight. I, oh my God. Go back and look at my other episodes. I called it with Serena. I think I said last time, I don't really trust her. And then I get back on track and I'm like, no, I trust them. They're great. And now I'm like, oh my God, I was right about her the entire time. Oh my God, cue the sad song. Taking home. Oh, I keep dancing on my own. Come on, man. Oh, Cordell. Come on, man. It wasn't even like that. What do you mean it wasn't even like that, Serena? Are you an insane person? I'm like, shit, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Shit, boy, was I wrong, right? Honestly, couldn't even look because, like, I just was feeling so bad. And, like, you, obviously, when I saw that he was just laying there, I felt like shit. What did you think he was going to do, Serena? Don't play dumb like that. This actually makes me upset. Cordell did not see this coming. You gave him no clues, Serena. Please, with the islanders that chose to stick, head to the balcony. This is so awkward. Like, she seems so upset. I've been trying so hard with Kendall, and I've been honest, and he's obviously not been honest. Wow. Islanders that chose to twist, please go to the fire pit. Okay, what's going on? Crazy is an understatement. This shit right here is straight messy. It's wackadoo wild is what it is. 
What in the actual F? It was like a lot for me to turn my head, but like we both said we were gonna be open. So, and I'm like, it's a 50 50 chance he'll be there or not. And I thought it was about to look stupid because we just had the conversation hey, about being open. You do, did not make that clear, Serena. Give me a break. I was that, not expecting that. Her or you? That shit threw me out. Like, what the exactly. fuck? Exactly. I did not see yeah. Serena doing that. I just don't get it. That's messed up. I was like, in line. Here they go all the way to the end, and then this. Yeah, she told me it's not even like that. So what is it like? <laughs> yeah, what is it like? Cordell, you gotta you gotta walk away from Serena. Oh. Please welcome Nigel, Kenny, and Cassidy. Oh my god! And I, oh my god, right, and that blonde one is going after Rob. I'm Cassidy, I'm 27 years old, and I live in Miami. Oh my goodness. I'm Kenny, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. My name is Nigel, I'm 28 years old, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm the full package. Oh, this house is burnt to the ground right now. What up? What's good? Ow, ow, ow! Party's here! Lee is feeling it right now. What's good? Yeah, now we get, now we start to get messy. Oh my God, this is truly messy right now. Do we have to watch this? I don't want to watch this. What's the blonde look like? We're still so hot. Hi, Hi I'm nice. Cassidy. Nice. Nice. Lovely to meet you. Oh my God, Rob, he like didn't even look at her for more than two seconds. She got my eyes. <laughs> she got my eyes. Well, I'm going, cuz. Yeah, everyone is like Cassidy. I was shocked. I literally was like, I would go for someone who looks like Kenny. Do you know think Janae's buzzing? I'm happy for her. Same. Bitch, y'all are messy. Oh my god. What's oh. up, motherfuckers? <laughs> oh, poor Cordell. He's gonna be so depressed. Hello? Serena I'm likes like, him. Hello. For sure. Mm-hmm. I'm open, and I feel like I'll be doing myself a disservice if I wasn't still open and exploring connection. I get it, but you were not honest with Cordell. Give me a break, Serena. You just weren't. You should have been more honest and made it very clear how open you were. I'm telling myself, I'm like, shit, I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Poor Cordell. He did not see it coming. It's fucking looking stupid. I'm over here giggling and shit about this girl. She don't even feel the same way. Obviously, she want to find somebody else. That's cool. Who am I to say, right? This is the final time, Cordell. You don't go back anymore to Serena. At all, honey. You move on. Beautiful smile. Beautiful lips. <laughs> Interesting. I've been looking at your lip. Can I get a tea? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm losing it. <sighs> oh, my goodness. That dance challenge, I cannot believe that Miguel stops dancing. And I knew he would, I kind of knew he would stop, but I can't believe Olivia stayed dancing. And I feel like Miguel kind of led her on to think like they're, they're trying to build something. Like that was wild to me, but I know why he stopped dancing. He is, he is feeling Nicole and Nicole is feeling him. I just, I, I can't believe Nicole stayed dancing for Kenny. I get it that in the end, you were like, Kenny, don't stop touching me. Like, now this is coming out, whatever. But come on, like, Kenny has instincts. Like, you you are into Miguel. Like, of course he would, he would stop dancing because he doesn't want to look like a fool. If I was Kenny, I would stop dancing too. I would have assumed that Nicole stopped dancing. Like, that was wild to me that she stayed. I Honestly... The biggest shocker to me was Serena. Serena, do not say, you're like, we we had a talk like right before this that like we're open, you know, like we're open. And I'm like, no, you, give me a break. Every conversation you've had, you guys like flirt and you're like, whatever, I like you. And you're you you you're like, I'm so glad that I'm with someone who's giving me all of the time in the world, which Cordell has given you. And every time you probably say like, yeah, we're still open. You did not make it clear enough to be like, if someone else came in here, I would explore my options. That was a slap across the face with Cordell. She just didn't make it clear enough. And I was saying that back like two episodes ago when she said, Miguel gives me butterflies. And I was like, girl, you need to get out of it with Cordell because you've never said that about him. And now 
I'm I'm glad that it came out. It came out because now I'm like Cordell, leave Serena in the dust, honey. You do not need to f with her anymore. Bye bye, Serena. Move on, honey. Because one time it's happened, a second time we move on. Um, I am mostly very intrigued to see what's going to happen with Leah and Rob, but we all know that. What is the new blonde, that the new blondie, I forget her name already, Cassidy, that the new blonde Cassidy is going straight in for Rob. And we know Leah's got a jealous bone in her body and she won't stand for that. But I'm wondering, is Rob going to crumble yet again for a beautiful blondie? I don't know. But I'm also, I, I, I'm surprised that Connor didn't trust his instincts but Leah's a great liar. She's a great liar. She convinced him and he stayed dancing. And I am just very surprised that Rob has not talked to Connor yet. Like when is that conversation going to happen? When Rob says to Connor, I think she's been lying to both of us, right? Cause he had that conversation. I'm glad he had it with Olivia and with, um, Aaron and Kaylor. I'm so glad that he talked to them. Because Leah did not take a backseat in regards to kicking Andrea out. And now, clearer than ever, the fact that it's like literally not even 24 hours later, she goes to have a conversation with Rob. But now, I'm like, well, honey, if she ends up like liking this new guy, because she was like, mm, this new guy is like my flavor. Um, oh, I just... I don't even know you guys. This island is sane, insane. It's wackadoo wild. The decisions that these guys make, I get it. I don't know what I would do if I was in that position either. Because again, Leah, she put all her cards in on Rob and then Rob kind of, you know, screwed her over. And now she's probably thinking like, Rob knows I'm in, still interested in him, but she'll probably throw herself at the new guys too, because why not? I don't know what Rob's going to do. My God, this is, I can't wait to move on to the next episode. Like, ah, I love you guys. Make sure that you leave a like, you leave a comment. Tell me how wild you think this is. Like, were you as shocked as me in this dance off? Like, this is insane. This is, this Love Island has gotten so good of just pure drama that I'm like, you can't write this. You cannot make this up. These people are nuts. They're wackadoo wild, the decisions they're making. I just, I can't believe it. I'm in pure shock. Every time I watch this show, I'm just like, like, what happened to me? Like, what? Oh my God, you guys. Don't forget to spread hugs, love, and laughter. I love you. Thank you for being here for me. Share this video. Let's do this. I'll see you on the next one. Tara Troopers, it's me, Tara. We're going to watch Love Island Season 6, Episode 15. This show just keeps getting better and better. Real freaking drama. This is what we come here for. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, share these videos. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't already. And go to rejectnationshop.com to get your reject gear. You guys know I'm over at The Real Rejects all the time watching movies and a bunch of TV. But here on my channel, we're doing reality, my little baby Tara Troopers. I called you baby Tara Troopers because you're so cute. I love you so much. Obviously, don't forget to spread hugs, love, and laughter. Thanks to Prepper for helping me edit down these videos. I super appreciate you guys. I wouldn't be here without Prepper. On my Instagram, if you guys can um, go follow me on my Instagram and go to the link that is in there, which is a Seed and Spark campaign. It's for the short film I'm going to be making. If you can just follow the campaign, it'll go live on August 20th. And then obviously, if you can contribute a dollar or more, great. But first off, we need a bunch of follows in order for this to get greenlit. So I would super appreciate it if you guys would get over there, give it a follow. It's the first link in my Instagram. Um, I love you guys very much. Should we just, we need to get into this, right? We need to get into it. Tonight. What's going to happen? Exotic days. Beautiful smile. I never said I didn't talk shit about you. I've literally Did told everyone. That. I'm not going to lie. Liv, shut the f up on your own f***ing action. Oh my God, Leah's finally getting exposed. I can't wait because she has been lying. Oh my goodness. How old are you? I'm 28. 
Okay. okay. And when's your birthday? <laughs> December 18th. Okay, Sag. So I'm a Sagittarius. <gasps> One day before my birthday, I'm a Sag too. I'm 24. You're a baby. So... I don't you don't answer. Don't. I had a high school sweetheart. We dated for three years, and then I haven't had anything serious since. Wait, I want to say what the blonde looks like. What she look like? She looks beautiful. I am in public relations, so I'm head of PR for a tech company. Oh, yeah. mm. All right, Cassidy. I definitely don't have a type. I feel like personality has to seal the deal. So dang, like she is beautiful. She really is see her walk through those doors because immediately I'm thinking, yes, someone I could chat to. Cassidy and Kennedy, Kenny both have perfect teeth. Top two girls that just you would like to pull first. Right here, these two. <laughs> okay, then. So we got top Mikey, two. We got honestly. Leah and Janae. Love it. Okay, Nigel. Um, I'd probably say Janae, and I'd probably say Leah as well. Really? The most outgoing guys were definitely Miguel and Kendall. I really like that because I like a guy that could be themselves. You have to have the looks to catch your eye, personality to close the deal. True. More boys than, no, there's more girls than guys. No, there's more boys than girls. Oh my God, Aaron. I'll just fucking. Oh my God, Aaron. Kenny wastes no time pulling Leah for a chat. This guy knows how to seal I... the deal. Why are all these guys into Leah? She's been lying left and right. You're cute. Me? Yeah, your feet, your toes. Oh, he's fun to talk to. And he said that I have really nice feet and toes. So that must mean something. Oh my goodness. So I spent my summers in like Thailand, Singapore because like you know when you're military it's free yeah. to fly. Like you're you got hey, the beaches and all that. I learned how to spell Mississippi in Thailand. <laughs> of course. And in Korea I learned how to swim. Oh there you go. Okay. Still can't really swim that well, so I you guys are here for me. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to no, do that have, yet. You're not gonna miss out on this. It's a nice pool. Do you think Janae's buzzing? You need to learn how to swim, buddy. You're surrounded by water. Sand? I'll be there to support you. Uh, please. Why you do the swimming part? Yeah, yeah, just you know. You're yeah. funny. Uh, uh, you know, I like to think I'm decent. I'm like so corny. It's not even funny. No, I can tell. Like you can no, tell. <laughs> <laughs> he literally said, "No, I can tell. You're corny as hell." I love dogs. Okay, amazing. I have two, both rescues, so they're mixed with like 30 different breeds, but they're like having chats. Who is it? <gasps> yep. Is that Kendall? It sure is. First chatting with Cassidy, I'm feeling excited. Like just putting so much energy and effort into Nicole. Okay, Kenny. Chatting with someone new who I think is attractive and, and potentially could be a connection here felt so good to do. Okay. Good for you, Kenny. I feel like my actions have like met what I've been saying he wants to do, but don't make me low key feel bad, which he kind of did about getting to yeah, know someone. Absolutely not. When you're feel little, I think that's the term, mugged off. Right. Like I do. Okay. I, I feel like what she's saying, but also you were really grooving with Miguel. I'm so glad you pulled me. Like, so I was like, I was like, oh, she's pulling me first. I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if that means anything. You know, I'm like, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. But... <laughs> no. She did not answer the question. She just said, no. <laughs> like, thank you for making my decision for me because I was torn. Right. So. Wow. No, all right. Nicole is mad. She's done with Kenny now. I just love, like, really 90s music. Okay. One of my love languages is putting people on, like, bomb-ass R&B. Yeah. Like, I'm like, a music person, yeah. R&B? Yeah. yeah, I have to ask. Okay, <laughs> just, just to make sure. Just to make sure I get the right answer. She looks so happy with that guy right now. I would say hear her out. I'm not upset. I'm going to hear her out, but hear it's just out. like... Hear her out, but then leave it alone, honey. I'm open. I've been open and honest with Cordell about that as well. We're both open to exploring other connections and testing out our connection. Oh... Uh... Like, being a mother is, like, a full-time job. Like, I don't want no iPad children. I don't want no nanny raising my kids. Like, yeah. And I want four kids. So Four kids. That's a lot. She had got that pace that we move in. This is exactly what, you know, she wanted to be at right now. Yeah. I'm good. I'm with you, Cordell. I hear where we at, and she said she felt the same mm -hmm. way. She did not make it clear. Looking stupid as if she felt otherwise, she should stay true to her word. Like she say, she keep it real with the woo and tell me if it was something else. And she didn't. I agree with Cordell. She didn't. She didn't make it clear enough at all. This was a shock. Like, it's just to look <sighs> stupid. I mean, this bitch looking stupid. Y'all warned me, too. Y'all fucking warned me. Yeah, they really did. They had a boys talk. They were like, just don't do it. And I was kind, I was with the guys. And then I went back because they looked so happy. But now I'm like, Cordell, leave Serena in the dust, honey, and move the F on. I just want to build. Like, I just want to settle down. Someone stable, someone that's looking for the future. But I'm open to just talking to everyone. I feel the same way. Okay, Kenny. 
I don't <laughs> date based off looks. Like, it has to catch your eye initially, but, like, the personality seals the deal. So oh, you're chat with, with the everyone. answers, sister. <laughs> Go ahead. You. I'm in PR, so I got this on lock. PR is great. <laughs> oh, Connor. They all want to juice it with Cassidy. Good chat. She's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. I was like, I kind of really didn't get much of a read off her personality. But, I mean, obviously, she's really pretty. Like, I wouldn't be opposed at all. Obviously, no one would be opposed. So you openly admitted that you're going to get to know two people. It wouldn't make sense for him to stay on the dance floor if he knows for a fact that you're open. Agreed. So honest with him about getting to know one guy, and if he's doing that out of spite, I don't care. It's not and if out you guys of are still spite. Taking, he's been taking L's back to back to back to back. I'm not giving him an L, but yeah. I still like you more than I like Miguel. And you know yeah, what? Now that's... Holy shit, Nicole's going crazy right now. <sighs> He hasn't ever once said to me, like, he's open to getting to know, like, that's why I'm caught off guard. Yeah. He wants me and he's standing by it. Like, that's hot. I get it's It's not a good feeling having to, like, share someone. It's not. Nicole, you have to understand what, why he made the choice. You wanted to juice it with Miguel. If Nicole feels some type of way about me getting to know this girl, that's, like, insanity. Agreed. That's, it's hypocritical is what it is. Like, this is getting literally blown really out of it. such crazy proportion right now. That's the issue here. The fact it's, that it's, people it's are this small is crazy. Yeah. crazy. I think Kendall just scared of getting his heart hurt again. Yeah, cool. I'm so am I. Same and now it's hurt. Okay, Nicole. Okay. I, I get her point of view, but I'm also like... Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, my God. I can't wait to see how she yeah. tries to flip this one. We said we were still going to be open and that we weren't going to close things off yet. Obviously, now I want to know if you feel differently and, like... I am mm -hmm. still open to explore, but I am happy with what, what's going on right here, so that's why I stayed up and danced. I did feel stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Cordell, stop talking to Serena, honey. Just stop. I generally don't see it any more than, like, sexual attraction. Yeah, but why didn't you just say that from the start? Because I was trying to get to know you. <sighs> Enjoy your life, brother. Oh, Olivia is so done. I think I'm going to pull Janae for a chat and just see where she's at, what she's like. She's cool. She's cool. Okay. They're on, Janae. When he sleeps. Oh. What is he doing? What? What's happening? Is this is a secret text? Nigel and Kenny, Cassidy, today you'll be going on a secret group day with one islander in each of your choice. Please wake them up, get ready, and head to the dock where a boat is waiting for you. Oh my god! Who is she going to wake up? Who is Cassidy going to wake up? She's going to wake up Miguel? <gasps> I didn't expect this. Oh my God, he picked Serena. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Oh, they're so excited. I can't believe this. Oh, okay. So they, they picked Janae, Serena. Okay. Oh, and I'm excited to get to know more about Nigel. Day, 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 day. She is so excited. She was never that excited about Cordell. What you feel like? What the f you guys think they're like on a date? Another day in paradise. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> tweak out. Yeah, bro, don't tweak out. Poor Cordell, man. He's just, he just is in love with Serena and he's not gonna be able to let it go. When I'm woken up at the crack of dawn, it's my wife telling me that I'm breathing loudly. Oh my God. Look at this floating island. This is amazing. This looks so fun. How do I get Yo, to that little floating that island? Oh, it's shallow as all get up. Okay, that's good. I mean, at least it looked like that from that shot. But how did you guys like, come to a conclusion with the whole Andrea, Nicole, and Janae thing? I tried to take a really big backseat to it. I literally said, like, if we pick Andrea Rob, is it gonna, like, hate me and think, like, it was me? Mm -hmm. Did she say that? I... There's more to me than just my looks. Like, I think my personality is better than my looks, if I'm honest, but... Oh, but I'm good. She's really hurt by that. It'll pay off, Liv. Because like you're so great and like. Don't cry. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh my God, Kayla cries in every episode. There's never a moment where Kayla will not cry. It's it's sweet. It's sweet. She's very empathetic. Yeah, I'm a real I was a little bit. I didn't know how my swimming skills were gonna go about. Well, you're a little fish in there. <laughs> yeah, are you hungry? I'm sorry. This pizza looks so good. Want me to feed you? 
You cannot deny pizza. Pizza is life, baby. Like, are you standing there out of spite? Because I've been Ill. Out of spite? Of course not. I was just trying to get through your mindset. I've never had an issue with you getting to know Miguel, obviously. Really? You said you didn't like it. I, of, co of course I don't enjoy it. You've had a bit of an issue, honey. Last night, it's just like caught me off guard. Yeah, I know. You were just looking at how I was feeling and just acknowledging yeah, I'm it. I'm sorry. I'm so honestly, Nicole, I'm sorry for making you feel that way. That's the last thing I want. At least he's apologizing. She has been saying some things to save her own ass and to get back in the good books of other people, but in doing so, she's putting me, Kayla, and Serena down. But I don't trust Leah. John like someone saying that, like, they took the back stand for it when that was... Oh, yeah, she said that again happened. earlier. The thing is, is because Olivia holds honesty at the top, I believe Liv right now. I want her to be honest, the truth. If it went well, tell me how well it went. If it didn't, hell yeah, I'm gonna be happy. I ain't gonna jump for joy in front of her though. I'm be like, okay, cool, you know. <laughs> if she kisses Nigel on this date, I wouldn't be surprised. And it will finally be the final straw to make Cordell go, bye bye. I feel like you're a good kisser as well. Mm, I'm okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to find out. Mm, maybe you'll find out later on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna give me a kiss? You know, be a respectful queen. I am still in like a couple. I respect that. Okay, Serena. I wasn't expecting that at all. Definitely get to know each other a little more. I'm gonna have to do something to make my mark known. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're gonna come here a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're, oh, they're locking in. They're locking in tight. Oh, and it keeps going. Okay. Good kisser. Oh, Lord, you're gonna get me in trouble. Oh my goodness. I've been looking at your lips all day. I don't know why. Can I get a taste? <laughs> oh my goodness. On the cheek? Come on, you gotta lock lips. Oh my God, you guys, I can't. I can't. I find it so funny that they're like, you're funny and smart and single. That's a red flag. And I'm like, maybe you just haven't found the round one, the right one. And also being single is actually pretty fun. And it looks like she kind of got the girl I was coupled up with sent home. It was looking to benefit from that. See, I'm actually really disappointed we didn't know. I am too. Me too. Definitely plan on letting her know that my door is closed and that she should just keep on moving to these new bombshells. Hope, hope it works out for her. Wow, Rob. Telling all these people this shit, and she just hasn't come up oh. to me. If her and I don't talk anymore, that's fine with me. Things are maybe a little tense between Leah and I. Leah's gonna be out of there, I think. And it seems like she maybe hasn't been 100% honest with me. She knows that we know at this point. And uh, I feel like that's part of the apprehension of coming to me and saying something, because it's just like, what do you say? Well, yeah, exactly. What do you say after you've been lying the entire time, Leah? Let me park the boat. You need a deckhand. I don't like to brag, but I do have my PB level two, so I could have definitely driven that better than that guy. But <laughs> um, I was very jealous. I love that he's throwing <laughs> the guy driving the boat under the bus. How was she? Yeah, we had, we had a little kiss. No way. Yeah. That was the best day I've ever had in my life. Shut up. Really? Shut up. Best. That's the best day of your life? The best day. Oh my. oh my God. In terms of just experience, that was probably the best day I've had in my life. I'm wow. That's crazy. That's I didn't think Miguel was going to say that. We laughed a lot. Chat was easy with him. Like, it was never like awkward or uncomfortable or yeah, anything like that. Like, we were goofing around. I ain't going to say I fancy him, but he cool with people. Okay, Serena. She takes a long time. Kenny, it was so cute. I'm so yeah. happy for you. Yeah, we were just sitting there and we were like locking legs. Super. Did you get Fanny Flutters? Is that what it's called? Yeah. She did? Why didn't you kiss him? I'm feeling good. I'm excited for tonight. Tell us about your date. I don't have, you know, the as strong of feelings, obviously, because I have stronger feelings for somebody else already. Obviously, right now, Cordell's still my number one. Oh, Serena, she is so confusing to me. How was the date? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I mean, conversation was good. Obviously on dates, people be kissing, and so we made out. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is not a good joke from you, Serena. Like, he was about to, like, be so sad. But I made it clear that I was happy where I was at. I do like you more. She did not say that to him. You didn't say that to Nigel. Oh, man. She's really gassing Cordell up, and I just don't trust Serena right now. Uh, I really appreciate it. Come here. 
<clears throat> like, kiss him. You know what I mean, Serena? I just feel like she's giving off immature vibes. Like, she, she's just not grown enough to be on this show to be intimate with anyone, I don't think. I think she's more just, like, looking for a buddy, I guess. Wait, you don't have an accent. Yeah, it comes out when I'm nervous. Well, I hope I get to hear it. Mm, I might have to try pretty hard for that. Mm, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, they are flirting hardcore right now. Talking to Liv, you know, it definitely felt like there was there was something there, possibly. Really? She's obviously really cute. I really like the way she thinks. I love, like, somebody who's going to be straight up. And I also am very much, like, I will fight for my friends. That is the truth. She will do that. I liked how confident he was within himself and that he's able to really be interested in conversations and not just be like, ah, oh, da, da, like he was genuinely intrigued. I'm a dad joke kind of guy. That's so. good, I like people that can have a laugh. Well, I, I really enjoy talking to you. Okay, I didn't see this coming with Nigel and Olivia, but okay. Leah's in the things with Connor right now as we speak. Where's a good spot to view the doctor? Or the yellow couches. Yellow couches, let's go to the yellow couches. Oh my God. Yeah, I'd be like, where's the best spot to see this conversation go down? I think, like, you got me at, like, a very, like, vulnerable time. And then, like, it slowly started feeling, like, wrong. It's not you, it's me. I'm the problem. It's just so cliche, like, how corny is that? Like, you just have the f***ing moment to, like, bury the hatchet and just own it and just say, I'm so sorry. Exactly. She did say sorry, did she? Connor. I just feel like we yeah, had just so many conversations. Walk where I away. Like, no, I would love Connor, you to be honest with I me. I was honest. I you were not. You knew this decision, Leah, a long time ago. She's lying. In my eyes, at least, like I feel like I never was telling you, like I'm all in, like I only want. No, you. I know that. They're You're too fun. good for me. I do feel bad for him, kind of. I feel really bad for him because you should have broken it off a long time ago, Leah. You're just so like put together. And then there's me. Leah needs so much therapy, it's not even funny. I mean, it... I just felt stupid. It feels like the whole villa is trying to tell me that you're not yep. into it. And then I They like, were. I don't know, she's telling me she is, and then... Because she was lying. Thank you for saying I'm a nice guy. And of course. I I'm sorry that, like... When you have absolutely nothing to apologize for, I am the problem. Say you're sorry, Leah. I thought she was going to be like, you have nothing to apologize for, I should apologize. We are good. <sighs> you know, I liked Leah, but right now she's getting under my skin. I don't like what she's doing here. Leah's got me feeling a, a certain kind of way. Like, I'm upset at her and how she's, like, she's being a snake. Where are you going? Go there. You look nice. Thank you. You look nice, too. Thank you. He just complimented her, but isn't he pulling her to, like, cut it off? So, you know the other night when you pulled me out there and you said that, that you've never talked bad about me and you never talked bad about Andre, you never talked bad about me too, Andre, and all that. I mean, I knew that was all a lie when you were saying it, but it just kind of like, I don't know, I just didn't want to fight you. I asked around and that's just not the case. You lied. I just want to know why. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing this with you. Liv was saying shit. And they said that that was you, and that it wasn't a joke. I, I feel like can live. What? Can you riddle me why this man thinks I had a huge part in in Andrea leaving? At the end and of the everyone day, made you, that decision. Kayla, and Serena voted for her, and, and I, I never get, brought that up. I've heard that you are claiming you had no part in it, and that I is never said I had no part in it. <gasps> What did you? But you was didn't. It? You was just as vocal as we were. No, you're not f***ing understanding what I'm saying. I'm Don't saying swear to there, live. Shut the f*** up. Leah's going off. Like I'm dead serious. What like you're about to, to you? kiss me the. F what does backseat mean to you? Explain to her what backseat means. Stop being a bitch for thirty seconds. Okay. You'll understand it. Oh. Whoa, Leah. Leah, nope. Do you Everything. understand what backseat means in yeah. my eyes? But your eyes aren't I'm always correct. I'm talking about the truth. I'm on Liv's side right now. I'm saying my I think you're trying to save your that. ass, if I'm honest. No, I mean, I don't need to save my ass because I never said I didn't talk shit about you. I've literally you told everyone. You did say that, Leah. You I never said I had no part in it. Oh my God, do you have ears? Right, what the f 
Meanwhile, Cordell and People are arguing, but I want to get to know you. I can't believe that Cordell pulls Cassidy for a chat right now. You took a back seat to the decision. You didn't want to be a part of it. You didn't want her to go home, and that you wanted me to be happy, and then you cared about me. <laughs> Rob, like, I, I can remember it. Trust me, this is all that's been on my mind. We all remember it, Leah. I had. Can you just, like, wake the f up? Thank you. I'm sorry it was harsh and rude, but, like, Leah kind of needs to hear it. Yeah, admit to it. Wait, we can clear some shit up right now. We can. Because what we're not about to do is sit here and start ganging up on her, okay? She brought living so, okay. with me. Okay. Let me up. Okay. Yeah, I get... Let's get involved. At the end of the day, I'm not going to keep going back and forth. You know, and you've convinced yourself that that's what you said. Then God help you, babe. <laughs> I'm on Liv's side right now. Because, Leah, I think you're kind of a sociopath. I think you do convince yourself that, like, you didn't say that. And you absolutely did. I just wanted to know why you've been lying to me this whole time. I wasn't to lying you know, to you this whole time. Like, you're, you're just going to keep the ball rolling with the lies. Of course she is. Like, own up to it, Leah. I just want to let you know my doors are shut. Don't have to worry about me. Have a good night. Rob, you're literally ridiculous. Oh, you just threw deuces in her face. Karma's a bitch, Leah. Karma is a biatch. I wanted Leah to admit at least one exactly. of the lies. Yeah, many, many Rob, lies she has told I'm me. with you. Admit to one, honey, and apologize. If I was Leah, I'd walk right off that island and go get help. I'm not joking. Wow. Denied, 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 lie, 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 lie. Exactly. And a recoupling will mean one islander will be dumped. <gasps> and more. Who's going to be dumped? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Casa more is in four days. Ah, I'm losing it. Oh, my God. You guys, you guys, shut up. Shut up. Finally. Finally. <sighs> Everybody calls out Leah. Because I have been bitching about it for the last two episodes of she's lying, she's lying, she's lying, she's lying straight to Connor. She keeps lying to Connor. She keeps lying to Connor. Like, oh my freaking goodness. That was so gratifying for me to see Liv, who I, you guys know in the beginning, I thought she had like... Um, societal blindness like a blindness to reading the room but in this very instance right here because um I and the way the reason I say that she had like a uh, blindness to reading the room is because when she chose robe robe when she chose Rob over Leah in the very beginning when they were clearly coupled up together I was just like Rob isn't into you Olivia I don't I don't understand it but now she's grown on me because I think all you have to give Liv is straight up honesty and she's very honest with you and she she uh, I uh, in this moment pff, Liv gets 10 stars for her standing up to Leah and I like that she just said you go and then I'll go because Leah did keep interrupting her and Leah did not take accountability for our actions. She never said sorry to Connor and she never said sorry for lying. And it's like, Leah, are you, you're, you are uh, like, uh, I don't have any words. Like that's what she is. She's diabolical to me. I don't understand her. You, you thought that you could walk around and then go tell Rob that you never talked badly about him when honestly the second that he that he went with the other girl, you were like, he's a weak ass pussy. Stop crying. Because he was crying about when they were having the conversation. He was trying to tell Leah that he really liked her and he started like to cry. And then she goes back in the makeup room and talks some major shit on him. Like, give me a break, Leah. I liked her. And now I'm like, no, I'm glad that they all, they all told you exactly what you have done and that you cannot start manipulating everyone and saying that you didn't say those things because we have receipts, biatch. And now I do, I do not feel bad for Leah sitting there and crying right now because she doesn't know how to own up. And this is like right now was the biggest, the clearest indication of like who Leah actually is and that she she never says sorry. I don't think I've ever seen her say, I'm sorry. She doesn't 
like, it's like she doesn't get it. And I'm like, I know you were hurt over Rob and like maybe you just need to admit that you were in love with Rob and just stay hurt the entire time. And maybe if you had gone back to him, it would have been forgiven. But you've been running around this house lying to everyone. And I'm not here for it either. And I just, I can't believe how good of a job Liv did. She's like, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. If you've convinced yourself that that's what you've said, good luck to you, honey. Oh, I'm with Liv all the way. Go Liv. Like, pfft, Leah, like, pfft, get, uh, and I have a lot of respect for Rob saying my doors are closed. Goodbye. But I think he said that before about Leah, right? He said that before and he's a little like, he's a little nutty too. Like kind of like he, you kind of see it like behind his eyes. There's like an emptiness, but also a light. I can't quite read him very well. And I just feel like if Leah went and started like crying to him, it was like, I love you, that he would like crack the door back for her. But right now, I'm glad that he was like, the door's closed and that Leah is kind of there solo on the couch. Honey, that's what happens when you go around lying to everybody, throwing other people under the bus, like, give me a break. You know what I mean? And I, I am still in the other couple. I'm still confused about Serena and Cordell. I'm, I'm surprised Cordell is still hanging around, but uh, she did show him respect by not kissing Nigel. I get that, but she moves really, really slow. It's almost like Cordell, I feel, feel like if you think you're going to walk out of here and get more than a kiss from Serena, you're not, honey. Like, you're so wrong. I think you're going to walk out of here and be best buddies and not get much more. Not that, like, that's... Uh, it's more important in a relationship to have to be best friends. But I don't know if you're going to get actual f- physical intimacy from Serena ever. I think she has a lot of growing up to do there. And there may be just like a physical intimacy wall up with her and she needs to work on that. Um, but what else with who else was it? Oh, it was Janae and Kenny. Um, Janae was so excited to be like, I gave him a kiss on the cheek and he has to wait for more. I really liked what I saw there. I really do think there is some promise for Janae and Kenny. And, um, I, I was interested to see what more was going to happen between Nicole and Kendall now that they had a chat and he was like, well, it obviously hurt me seeing you with Miguel, yada, yada, yada. So now I feel like Nicole was closed off and now she's opened back up to Kendall. And I do like them as a couple. I do. I'm curious to see what happens there. Um, I wonder if if Nicole would be jealous if she finds out that Miguel was making out with the new girl, the new blondie, Cassidy. Like, I wonder if if once that information gets cycled up in there, or did she already know? Did Cassidy tell them? I don't know. I can't remember. Um... Man, this episode is insane. Every episode of Love Island just keeps getting better and better with more and more drama. And I cannot believe that we are four days away from Casa Amor. Are you kidding? I, I, I mean, I'm just shook. I'm shook by all of it. That's what I got to say for now. You guys, let me know what you guys think about the couples. Obviously, don't add any spoilers. I love that you haven't already Please like this. Please share it. Please comment. If you want to contribute on Patreon, I am on there. Or find me on Venmo or PayPal. I don't care how I get the money. I need more moolah to, for coffee to edit and do my jobs. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to spread hugs, love, and laughter. I, I, Tara Troopers, you're the best. Thank you for, for being here with me and watching reality. I just want this to grow so we can watch all the reality shows. All of them together. How fun would that be? I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.